Friends, if you're planning a trip to Rome, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive experience. In fact, it can be more affordable than many other European destinations if you follow these 10 money-saving recommendations. Rome is one of the most popular European destinations where you don't have to pay for drinking water. Bring along a reusable bottle and refill it at these public fountains. In some areas you will also find these water stations where you can refill your bottle with both still and sparkling water all for free. Admission tickets for the main attractions in Rome sell out weeks in advance. Does that mean you won't be able to see the Colosseum? No, if you don't have a ticket, you will have to join a guided group, which will cost a lot more money and time as you will have to wait in line. So if you want to pay a good price for admission tickets, get them in advance, save some money and skip all the lines at the entrance. You can see the Colosseum and many other attractions for free on the first Sunday of the month. I've added the full list in the description, check it out and visit Rome's most famous museums for free. If you don't usually ride public transportation at home, you might be tempted to rent a car or get around by taxi. But please reconsider. In Europe, most people get around by metro and bus. It's very safe, very efficient, fast and so much cheaper. I made a complete video with everything you need to know about Rome's public transportation. Check it out and you'll see how easy it is to use it. For one week we paid 24 euros for a pass including unlimited rides meaning it cost us a little over 3 euros per day. And considering the traffic in Rome, it was a lot faster to get from one place to another by metro or bus. As long as you're close to a metro or a bus station, you really don't have to stay in the historic center. Hotels are much more affordable outside the city center and you'll get a better value for a lower price. Rome is not an expensive destination when it comes to food. One portion of pasta at a good place should cost between 10 and 16 euros. But you'll notice that restaurants located near the main attractions like the Pantheon or Fontana di Trevi are a lot more expensive. And while these places have a great view, that doesn't necessarily mean the food is also great. In fact, locals consider them tourist traps as they are overpriced. Rome has some amazing restaurants with authentic Italian food and very fair prices. Here are my recommendations.
Rome is a very popular destination and tourism is an important source of income for many business owners. And some of these owners will look at you and see a walking wallet, especially at the tourist traps I've mentioned before. Take it from someone who paid 20 euros for a fried egg. Don't agree to order anything before you know the price. Sometimes they try to take advantage of tourists by recommending overpriced specialties that might not even be on the menu. So repeat after me. That sounds nice, how much does it cost? In Rome, art and history are everywhere, especially in churches, which are all free. You can see masterpieces by Michelangelo or Bernini without an admission ticket as they are displayed in places of worship. I've included more details about the main attractions in Rome in my full guide right here, make sure you check it out next. If you take your coffee at the bar in Rome, it's cheaper. For example, an espresso might cost 2 euros if you drink it standing and 4 if you choose to savor it at the table. So if you just want a quick energy boost, have your coffee at the bar. Pack your walking shoes, because in Rome you will take a lot of steps. Some attractions are so close to each other that you will be able to walk from one place to another, which is free and also very healthy. Tell me in the comments if you found these tips helpful and share your own money-saving recommendations. Have you been to Rome? Would you go?